Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to make the basic green smoothie. They're very customizable after this, but this is what I would consider the base of any good green smoothie recipe. So that would start with about a cup and a quarter of water, one cup of frozen fruit, in this case I'm using raspberries, I'm quite partial to strawberries, blueberries also work well, I haven't tried much beyond that. One banana, this is key, this is real, without the banana it doesn't taste very good. This adds in a little bit of sweetness without having to add in any sugar or anything like that. You really want this banana and honestly the riper the better. When it starts to get a little black spots, that's a pretty good time to use the banana in your smoothie. Last thing, two cups of a leafy green. I use spinach, a lot of other people use kale. Um, I've never tried anything or even heard of anyone using something like collard greens, but maybe it would work. I have tried lettuce. It's pretty gross. Don't try it. And then the one thing I add to the smoothie that I make every day are some baby carrots, about a handful. Uh, that's my customization. Other people use protein powders. I, for one, if you have a high-speed high blender like this one, as you can see, I'm using a Blendtec. Plenty of people use the Vitamix, there's other brands out there too, those are the two most popular. I'm not here to argue about which one's best, I just happen to own a Blendtec. Uh, and this is the earliest Blendtec model, served me well. So, um, a lot of people add protein powders, but with a high speed blender, I'd say add nuts. Um, it tastes really good if you uh, really need a treat to add in a, a low fat plain or vanilla yogurt that really adds some flavor or to use a skim milk instead of water that however is going to add to your calories so you got to decide what you want to trade off um, if you want the calories or if you want the flavor there's lots of ways to mess with it there's plenty of places to look on the internet if you google green smoothie recipes you'll find tons but this is the basic one that I use every day I've been using it probably for about a year now um, and in that time and it's not just a green smoothie but in that time I've probably lost about a hundred and twenty no hundred and thirty no hundred twenty no I'm sorry hundred thirty seven pounds so far to date I was uh, messing up twenty seven or thirty seven but yeah, 137 pounds I've lost. I was up to 343. I'm at 206 today, and I think this green smoothie has been a huge boost in doing that. And um, that's why you didn't see me in my videos before, because I was embarrassed to step in front of the camera at 343 pounds. But green smoothie plus exercise and uh, overall healthy diet. Uh, I use Weight Watchers plan, and it's really worked out for me. So without any more jabbering for me, let's get to making the smoothie and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, with a Blendtec blender, you're going to want to add your heavier solids first. So, I'll start with the raspberries. And you also want to put the liquids in, in the beginning. Then, put in our banana. Followed in my case, this isn't really part of the base recipe, I'd call it, but the carrots. And then follow it up, finally, with the spinach. And this is going to make 28 to 32 ounces. It varies from day to day with the size of my banana. I like to smash everything down nice and good. With a smoothie this size, with this Blendtec blender, it has preset smoothie settings. That's something I really like about the Blendtec. And it's in the beverages and it's got a smoothie setting and an XL smoothie setting. And I'll show you a little bit of the blending, but what I like to do is run through the XL smoothie cycle and then the smoothie cycle because I really don't like any grittiness in my or any like leafy material left in my in my smoothie. I'm really turned off by texture and that um, really smooths it out. It's kind of annoying you might say to have to run it twice but um, I'm still happy with the results and I'm very happy with my Blendtec blender. 
So we'll run it through the XL smoothie to start. XL smoothie cycle and just to give you a quick look I mean it's drinkable after that it totally is um, pretty darn smooth but I always like to run it through one more time it doesn't really get too warm or anything that way Okay, there you have it. With the Blendtec, the way that it works, without that Vitamix tamper, it really gets the force going and you get a lot of stuff on the top. I usually don't mess with it too much. I just usually rinse it off and consider it loss. But just to show you what the smoothie looks like when it's all said and done. There you have it, the basic green smoothie recipe. If you like the video, um, please comment below, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it.